guys, and welcome to One Shot. So, this is a game that I had actually discovered quite a few years ago, but I had never gotten the chance to play it before. I don't really remember much about this game, except for we have this light bulb, or something. So, I figured I would take this journey of one shot with you guys. So, the, control, the controls for this are a bit different. I don't use my mouse for this. I actually used. I had to switch. I might end up having to change the keys again, but we'll figure that out. Let's hop right into it. Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the judge, Aaron Mullins. Aww. Examine. A. Wait. What? I think this is with, like, a controller. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> wait a minute. Alright, I got the music and sounds and stuff to work in. So, that door is locked. It's like a hole in here. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. Is this like our our home or something? It's oh, what's this? A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch leaves off. Did I take the branch? I took the branch. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. There's no water in the toilet. Water in the tub. The tub won't run. I like how it looks. Okay, the door is locked. How do we? I'm a little confused here. Yeah. What do we do? I feel like we are so close to of the remote. All the numbers except 7, 6, 5, and 2 are missing. They're marked in bright. Wait, 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 what colors was it? 7, 6, 5, 2. Red, blue, yellow, green. This will be apparent 
once you go outside. What do you mean? This place was never worth saving. Oh, that's... Do you still want to try? And remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Oh, wait, what? Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most important... Uh, actually stopped recording because it exited the game and uh, did this. Yeah, so it's, um... <clears throat> What? Alright. So, um, yeah, so we're back. <laughs> Hello? Anyone? Oh, yes, I'll go back in there. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Better stay away from that, I guess. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit? <gasps> Try branch. Nico readies the branch. It doesn't manage to light. I'll try again. Refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico, Nico, you don't look like you're at the age. Nico. That's fine. It's locked. <gasps> Nico dips the branch into the alcohol. Wet branch. Nico readies the branch. Ah! doesn't give off any freaking fire. Whoa! <gasps> Shiny! Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Basement key. Is this the basement? slow. Ooh, a light bulb. Hmm. Oh, god, my eyes. Hmm. We can't, no, we can't. Run, Nico, run faster. Running up the stairs very slowly. This looks like it's some sort of science lab. <laughs> like... Hmm. Fast travel. You can quickly 
travel to the locations you have already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. The default key for opening the menu is A. I had changed it to tab, and I think uh, multi-page or something is uh, what I have it now on my controller. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Okay. Lots of a robot. What is this shiny stuff? A robot, it no longer has power. Lots of a robot. I, just, I thought this was like a wall. It's like. Oh, it is or something? So, what in the what? Oh, wow. This is what we came from? Our house did not fit in that. No way, no how. Probably looks familiar to you. What? Stop! Why are you say? How are you saying my name? I'm cutting. I'm blocking over whenever it says my actual name. Okay. Nico first woke up in this world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will ed exit automatically and can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. Oh, well then I'm gonna have to like, go back and reopen up my recorder. But now is not the time for us. Okay, good. Because I don't want to rest. It's a broken off section of the railing. You go to exit. Alright, so anytime that it just, it's gonna say my name, I'm inserting a thing. So instead it, it says golden. Because it's saying like my actual thing. <laughs> the air here is unbreathable. Well, let's go back! Suffocate, Nico! So, I'm just kind of in charge of getting Nico back home, it seems. light bulb you are here uh, me yes welcome to our world friend i am the most humble but i am most humbled by your presence yes uh thanks sorry i'm a little lost all right allow me to explain some things may i first ask how you arrived here i'm not sure i woke up in this place or i woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Hmm? This is my prophecy foretold, yes? Oh god, a prophecy. You are the savior we have been looking for. You'll be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. And I'm the one that's supposed to, like, make the decision and get them home, I guess? I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well, can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But 
time waits for nobody, not even saviors. <laughs> the world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now. The Barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Oh, can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your sun? Yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. So, if we take this light bulb and put it at the top of the tower, won't this one go out someday as well? Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. By the thread, you mean yourself? There's nobody else here. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Oh. But now that you're here with the new sun, all is well. You'll need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. <laughs> See, Nico, I, I'm with you, Nico. It looks a little far. Can we just go home? Yes. So begin your pil pilgrimage. Ah, damn. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about the computer? And the house I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to you. Golden. That definitely says Golden. Golden. Ah, that would be our god. What? I'm the god of this tank tart shithole. <laughs> if you are here, that means Golden is here also. Golden will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Golden yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Golden. So I'm a person that just kind of brought this kid here out of nowhere? Really? An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. Alright. Yes, hi Nico, it is me, the great and powerful Golden! Golden, are you there? That is not my name. Yes. Oh. Nice to meet you, Golden. My name is Nico. I should be like, that's not my arm. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Golden. Oh wait, I could have totally changed it. God damn. Hold on a second. Alright, I'm back. It only took like 30 minutes of going through all the files and trying to figure out how to completely restart. So I had to go through about uh, 30 seconds to 40 seconds of uh, gameplay again just to get back to here. So now it is... They, they, Nico shall refer to me as Golden. My name is Nico. I actually heard someone. They said the name is Golden, though. This is incredible. It seems the recorded name was incorrect. Updating database. Hmm? There, update complete. Do not be afraid to ask Golden for assistance. You are the messiah, after all. Can you tell me about going home? Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm i not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I'm unable to help you beyond my programming. 
cow. <laughs> I was hearing a noise and it freaked me out for a second. It's just the freaking fly hitting my screen. I'm sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Oh. Okay. Well, you are no help whatsoever. A robot without power. It won't turn on. I just heard it clicking on with a robot. It seems to be okay. It just doesn't have power. I'll run on, like, light or something. Dusty shelves. Ooh, what is this? This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Yeah, you like a red rod? The pipe won't fit under the cracks, Golden. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Ow. Well, excuse me. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. Once charge cycle, one charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Okay. Yeah, you just false. Okay. You. One. A robot may not injure a living person or, through an action, allow a person to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given to it given to it by people except where such orders would inflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as it as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Map of the world. Tower. Barons. Glen. Refuge. So we're in the barrens. We're down here in this area, I guess. Can we, can we keep that? No, I guess not. Let's see, what's this? So a robot as our replacement. Head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her way get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. Faded poster. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimps, shrimps spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbling over surface, please contact manager immediately. We will dispatch a harvest ASAP. Is that what those the ponds are out there? Like, bubbling pretty shrimp? Poster. Five posts. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other positions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Pages we need. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via large electromagnetic field. Management efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized back backup cells for the few most important robots. I'm reading so far. The, their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are high specific. In other words, Small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. The last one's. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. I'll miss it. Sure. What it you can feel my hair standing up a little. Not going to smash the sun. Just 
nothing in here that we can use to, to uh, come on, go outside. should open up. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass. Careful, don't cut yourself. No. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Alright, Nico, let's go ahead and take this back then. Get around the table! Come on, kid. The battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track, but nothing happened. I don't think we can do anything else here, Grandpa. It feels like we're on the right track, though. Maybe this? Sure. Smash it? No. Questions you wish to ask? Yes. You then ask away. The Barons. It's so empty here. That's why it's called the Barons. There are. Are there any people living in this area? Besides Joe Woods, I mean? I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So you just stand here. You must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. Well, Nico can date you, I guess. I don't know. Let's go away. The prophecy. So, what is this prophecy exactly? The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house, find the sun, and illuminate a new world. Oh. What else did you, uh, foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? Wait. Are the prophet part. Good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is built into my programming. Your what? Ah, my programming is what guides me. I am a robot, after all. Let's see. One more question. The tower. How tall is it? I can't seem to even see the top. I'm not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time, Golden will know what to do. I see. Will I? Will I know what to do? Ooh, it's so pretty. I feel like it'd be bad if I were to like fall in there though. Or I guess if Nico were to fall in there. Just 
Panther and wait for Nico to come? Or what? someone taller. Well, goddamn, I'm sorry that you're a giant. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Uh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way. A child like you being the same just doesn't really need to. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen such much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here. Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Or, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a forest nobody could comprehend. And the tower is strongest at the, at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. I don't know why, he's kinda cute. <laughs> Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks, I know it must be hard, but it, it but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. So, your name is Silver. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell that keeps you functioning. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. I, it could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. Okay, but I want this thing. Something is poking out from the shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Show. Oh. What is this? It's a photo of two people. The glasses is too foggy to see details though. Let's drown the sun! Yeah, no, I can't even remember anything. Okay. It's a metal chess table. Oh, dust. I haven't played chess with anyone for a very long time. No. Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons have the capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. Well, we can play chess. I'm not good at chess. Or, I don't know if Nico is, but I'm not good at chess. But, it's made of metal. It doesn't look very comfortable. It's a crate. It's another crate. Anything else to say, Silver? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Built. As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... No. He never told me if it went anywhere. You need further assistance. We're good, thanks. Andrew's like, we're good! Oh man, I want to hear more. Alright, so Silver lives there. Seems interesting. What is this? Wait. Bro, look at his hair sweep out for it. I saw you heading towards this direction. Mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. You 
must ensure it. It is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Well, I don't I didn't say that we are, we are ready to go. There's a little jacket on the- or gadget! There's a jacket! There's a gadget on the ground. It looks like it's a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Power's <laughs> face! Or his face! <laughs> or not? I don't know. Thanks. Come on. I can see a yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what pr propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever. It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned in existential panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh. I hope he's okay. Oh. Well, that's sad. I got your permit. Do be careful in here. Well, I can't really go any further. Ready to leave? Thanks, Silver. I hope that he comes back to, like, follow us. I guess that's all that's over there. Uh, so I guess we go all the way back. So he lives way up here. By himself. So what do we got so far? Hmm. Alright, well. I think there was another way up this way. So I guess we'll, we'll come up here just to check. Oh, I don't think we can. Oh yeah, no, we can't. There's no air here. It hurts to breathe. Deal with it! Let's go down this way, since we went up the other way before. Ooh, there's a thing! What is the thing? A metal safe seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you hold them? Drink? Uh, we'll do one, two, three. Four. Oh, well, I didn't do that. Five. Six. Oh, damn. Okay, well. We'll probably eventually come back to that, I guess. Okay. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones. <laughs> Baron workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce gets got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Oh. Ah, <gasps> maybe that's what's in the metal safe. It's a gas mask. Maybe that's what I need. Okay, then let Nico needs in order to breathe, because Nico needs to breathe, apparently. Sorry, Nico. I'm just being an asshole of God, aren't I? I'm sorry that I couldn't get somebody that that could breathe in gas. I'm trying to think, what else? I, I th we got everything that we could from there. I'm pretty sure. There's nothing left in there that we could use. Um. Eh, excuse me. Well, this thing is 
square, so maybe. Can I? It doesn't combine. Use a screwdriver to pull the lens out. Okay. Done. The lens pops right in. <gasps> yes! The battery fits this up perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track. But nothing happened. <gasps> Wait. Were you using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. I thought about that a long time ago, okay? Good thinking, Golden. I know, right? Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Charge battery. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Woo! Woo! Okay. Whoa. Alright. So, we got the this giant machine to turn on now. And that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode, okay? I'm going to try to keep these fairly short. Shorter. So, if you guys stuck around to the end of the video, then congratulations! This Saturday, I will be streaming my first stream in a really long time. Uh, but with face cam, and we will be doing a scary game that m my social medias combined had voted on. Anyways, after the stream, I will be doing a raffle giveaway. So if you're not subscribed, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and make sure that you pop in during the stream and say something in chat. You know, anything. As long as you're subscribed. Uh, so in order to enter the giveaway, you have to be 13 years or older. If you are under the age of 18, then you need to provide... Uh, proof that your parents are okay with you receiving the giveaway item, which is a art print signed by me with a note, a special personalized note. And on to the next exciting news. I finally have my Patreon all set up. So if you guys are looking for other ways to support me, I have a Patreon. Link can be found either down in the description of this video or in my about section. You can also find it in my Twitch as well. And there's, I've got three different tiers. So I'll show them on screen on like the different tiers. But if you are a tier three Patreon member, once a month, you can request to get a art print if, uh, if I have any available. And if I don't have any available, then I can digitally draw out you a picture personalized specifically for you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Stay golden.